look at how beautiful all that is. Get all this paint in here. Super bright, just a couple lights on and ooh, more lights on. And everything just kind of pops and brightens up. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Get the hallway too. Everything is done inside. Everything. Getting things packed up, ready to clear out, take the storage, and get this house listed for sale. But today, what I'm talking to you about and what I'm going to show you is the pond filter. Yep, another pond video. So, yesterday, we went to Lowe's. Look, Nicole came along. And we went and got some more lava rock. The reason we got more lava rock is because we're going to change out the lava rock and put it in the garden. And you might be wondering, is it necessary to change the lava rock so often? Or could I recycle the lava rock? Is lava rock expensive? Well, for how much this filter takes, it's about $15 for the lava rock. Now, with all the algae and everything growing on that lava, of course it's raining, but I have to get this done. And I've been waiting for it to stop raining, but it hasn't stopped, so we just gotta do this. So, hopefully the phone doesn't get too wet and ruined. Anyways. You can take that volcanic rock spray it with a hose, you know, put it in a big barrel, spray it with a hose, and run all that nasty sludge and everything through. And, well, it's not actually nasty, it's great fertilizer. And use it in the garden and everything. Um, but the thing is, is volcanic rock, with how cheap it is, um, is really good for the soil. The thing is, is it holds moisture while at the same time giving aeration. And it also adds a lot of different minerals. You might have seen that. Yeah, that, my friends, is a bone. A rather big bone in the garden. It will eventually break down. It will. You might be wondering, where did I get a bone that big? Well, I think that's actually Milnader's leg the turkey that we harvested a couple of Thanksgivings ago. And so it's calcium is slowly breaking down in the garden. I wonder if that shocks some of you. Oh well, it's life. <clears throat> Look at this, we got flowers starting to come up here. These are some, what kind of guys are these? I don't know, it's like a, like a type of sage almost. I don't know, these guys bloom like crazy. I thought, Nicole had like killed the plant and I think she actually did because it's like cut back to nothing and nothing's growing out but It dropped all these seeds and all these seeds are sprouting So we're gonna have all kinds of beautiful like kind of cool sagey flowers You know here's one that kind of broke but Yeah, they'll get bigger anyways. Well, we're not gonna have it whoever the new owners are but What's cool is things are starting to shoot up now in here. But anyways, we're gonna take that volcanic rock and we're gonna put it in the garden because of what it has to offer. And the fact that it's all like honeycomby and like bubbly like that, it is just so loaded with all this stuff that yeah, I could spray it through with a hose, but at the same time, that's holding all kinds of fertilizer. And yeah, look at, Two days without the pump running and dang, it gets dirty fast. But what you're really seeing a lot of that's making it like this is see that algae plume? See how all the rocks are turning green, they're getting algae on it. So this, may, while it may not look the most appealing at the moment, is actually beneficial at the moment because it's creating this algae plume. The ducks love to eat that algae and snack. And so that's actually creating a food source for them. And it's good for them to be able to get that chlorophyll and everything. Now we don't want this water to start getting to the point where it starts to stink. 
and right now it doesn't smell at all um, it's actually yeah it's really amazing that it's not smelling at all but the fact that it has been ran through charcoal and filtered it took all that smell out because before I built the filter it was actually starting to smell and if you look back in those other videos man was the water dirty at that time before I actually got the filter installed and this is all the same water except for the added rain look at those guys you guys have to check out the video look at oils on the eggs oh no oils not on the eggs it's afternoon bombas on the eggs yep they got a nest coming got to check out the videos on that but yesterday the pigeons got out yeah see the string over there that hooks to my latch the latch is right there in the door there's a string that goes all the way down to the ground the blue string right there they uh pulled the string i forgot to put the pin in the latch so they can't open it they pulled the string opened the door up and bomba oya and shango all three flew out and were out for a while and we had to herd them back in with food and a little persuasion if you want to check that out go look at that video that was a great video Ugh. anyways you can see here the pond filter without running for a couple days look at the duckweed really start to grow a lot of duckweed coming in because it's not really having much water flow um, yeah so things are building up a little bit look at that charcoal it's definitely nice and full so what we're gonna do is use our own charcoal this time for this and we're gonna use this guy this nice bucket because we already drilled all the holes in it and made it nice we're going to use this bucket here for uh, scooping out all that volcanic rock in there and getting that sediment out look at, look at the green on the feathers see the algae growing on the feathers isn't that quite crazy this screen has actually been really amazing because it really improves the water flow because it stops the feathers from coming in. So this cycle will last even longer. So it'll take even longer until things have to be changed out and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, dump this in the compost. If you wanna see that video, check out that video. But just, this will be dumped in the compost and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna scoop out all this lava rock, get this cleared and clean. We're gonna throw the lava rock in the garden and we're gonna install the new lava rock. Well, just got the first scoop full out here in the garden. See, I spread it out. You don't want it too concentrated, but look at that volcanic rock. Look how it's all just permeated. There's feathers, there's muck, there's all kinds of nutrients, vital nutrients <clears throat> that have been breaking down and collecting in this is going to make great great fertilizer and right now we're just coming into early spring so a lot of the the shoots that are or the seeds that we want to grow like the squash the tomatoes things like that they're still very dormant and they're not ready to start sprouting yet so right now is a perfect time to till the garden and kill off a lot of these early spring seeds that pop up more of the weeds uh, or what's known as common weeds nothing's a weed a weed is only a plant growing where you don't want it to that's all it is because everything has its purpose and use so here you can see we have the pond filter here and we're scooping yeah yeah scooping that volcanic rock out so we got to make room now for all the things we took out so this right here is our pump chamber this is where the water flows into the pump right there is like the secondary so in there was a bunch of volcanic rock this time I'm not going to put the volcanic rock in the bottom because it obstructed the flow fairly quickly. I'm going to put a little bit 
just to weight it down, but not so much where it fills it above all the holes. And then all the volcanic rock will go around it. So it still has plenty to be able to keep it in place. I need a little bit so when I pull this out, that doesn't want to come out with it. Ooh, you're upside down. What's going on? Here we go. Look at all that duckweed that found. Yeah, I hope you, those of you that get hurt of it, are too busy at the moment. Yeah, so just go through, scoop all this out. There's a good amount in here. And then we'll just go ahead and put everything back in and dump it in again. So we picked up some fresh volcanic rock. So we got uh, almost all of it cleared out. I left a little bit down the bottom and it spread all around the garden, a nice little layer of it. Not too much, because I don't want to burn things, but a good amount. So, time to fill it back up and get the pump running so we can clean that water again so it doesn't look all green. Decided to close the fence all the way off. So now I don't have an easy way to get through. But it's only so we can get the blueberries mulched. And it'll be temporary. Alright. Alright, grab one of these guys and we'll get this started. So, so you're still collecting rainwater. New owners can put a gutter on here and really get some more water flow in here. But you see we got everything kind of laid out. So we're going to throw a little bit of volcanic rock in the bottom of here. See, all the volcanic rock is pretty much out of there. So I'm going to do all this one-handed while I show you what I'm doing. So, got that in there. That's a little bit more than what I want. So I'll just scoop a little bit of it out. We could do actually... What you wanted to do was fill it with sand and put some clams in here and let the clams like start to reproduce yeah. We're almost to where we want it. Okay, so this will give us the weight we want so it won't lift up, but we still have plenty of holes. So what we're going to do here is put this in here because we got to make sure that our depth is correct. So we want the top of the water to come to here, but we don't know where that's at at the moment. So one thing to test their weight, go like this. Okay, you see how the bucket comes off? Easy and eh, fairly all right. It'll be good enough. Right. So this guy goes up front. Let that soak in there. So that's where the bottom is now, below there. So I got a little bit too much volcanic rock still there, but that's all right because this guy here sits much higher up, like about here, right close to the top, see like that. So all I have to do is brush some of that volcanic rock forward with the shovel. And we'll get this all evened out so that way our water is perfect because we just had a lot of rainwater. We're about at max. So this is the perfect time to get the water level correct. We got it in position now. So what I did was I put it in there as a little bit too deep after scooping it forward. And so all I did was just simply take the shovel and push back underneath the bucket until I got it right just barely below the surface like it is. So the reason why I'm having it slightly below the surface is with all the rain that we have had, this is at absolute max. And I want it to just barely hit the top of the surface because most of the time, it's not gonna be at absolute max. So I wanna make sure that we're gonna get the flow coming through. And it's okay if some water pours in over the top, especially with the screen in there, cause that's really gonna stop the sediment from coming in. So we'll go ahead and start filling the lava rock around and get it to where the pump housing 
has enough volcanic rock in it to sit about this deep here. So that way we're a ways above the rest and uh, yeah, we'll have but plenty of water flow will be able to come in. And what this will do is the remainder of the uh, lava rock will go around that housing, making a nice filter where all the settlement has to travel through the charcoal and then out through the uh, the bottom bucket there and come into through the volcanic rock and then into the the pump housing there, and that will give a good filtration where it'll absorb the nitrogen and uh, all the nutrients with the um, charcoal and then the volcanic rock will be, work as a great skimmer and holding that and it allows a lot of uh, life to grow on it as well with all those chambers which allows additional breakdown of the material so and look at those girls they're actually going through it and what's neat is the lava rock you can see the dark spots that's all the lava rock um, there was worms in there there was worms growing in the bottom of that there's worms in here right now and I don't know about you, but I didn't know that worms live that deep underwater. I had no clue. I thought that they came up to the surface when it rained and that they would drown in that deep of water. Um, yeah, let me know. They were down in there and they're feeding on them. So, <laughs> you learn something new every day. That's the power of observation. So, okay, we'll go ahead and fill this up and then uh, We'll get that stabilized and our better heights exactly where we want it. Look at that, it's all like bubbly and everything. Doesn't that look delicious? No, it doesn't. Not at all. And you're gonna see, amazingly, how beautiful this water turns in a very short amount of time. This is really gonna clean it. And it's gonna clean, clean it quickly. So let's go ahead, fill the sides up now, put a bag on each side, and we'll be good. pump in there to give it some weight. Yeah. Oh wow, I filled it up perfectly. Let's go ahead and plug this in and get it going so it stops stinking and it starts making some beautiful water again yeah because you guys want a clean pond it's crazy how fast without that filter going oh my god just a couple days boom look at that algae bloom hardly see through the water everything has a green tint the feathers turn green like everything just gets nasty look at the sump is like all bubbling it's crazy how fast it goes bad when you're not filtering so having a reliable solar source where the filter will always be going and uh, just in case having this guy set up We'll make sure that the water just keeps flowing and uh, it'll stay nice and clean. The water needs agitation and it needs filtration. So now that we have this where we want it, we'll go ahead and pull this guy out. Oh shit, wrong, uh oh. It's pulling the bottom up. I need to eat. I thought I might have enough uh, charcoal, but I don't. I burnt it all up, so. I think it's time to take that chunk of steak in the fridge and make another delicious saute and get us some biochar or some charcoal to put in the thing. And if you haven't checked out any of those videos, do it. So I make some killer Asian food right on this fire pit here. Um, yeah, just absolutely delicious. You got to check out those videos. So 
Anyways, let's make ourselves a fire. But in the meantime, we're just gonna start the pump up with that in there empty and just get the water flowing and at least skimming and going through that new volcanic rock. And uh, as soon as we get charcoal in there, that'll start sucking in the nitrogen and neutralizing uh, odors and things like that. So one thing nice is the pond like this doesn't really stink, but when you get into the filter, the sump, all that stuff that's been building up, it, it kind of smells. So we got to neutralize that. And what's the best way than making a delicious meal? Yeah, you'll have to check out that video because I might as well film it too. There we go, put you down into your home. Yeah, so this will start working as a skimmer. There we go. Make sure it's down all the way. It kind of riz up when I try to taking that out, but that's good enough. It'll start filtering. So let's plug this bag boy in. Here we go. It's a pumping and a flowing. So now it should have a lot more flow to it. You see, it's not. Uh, oh, I, I don't even. I didn't take a video of that. Damn it! I was gonna turn the pump on and show you it all drain out because it couldn't flow quick enough because all the contamination and debris you see now it's flowing in water's going so now it's starting to circulate it'll start skimming and we're going to make some biochar or some activated charcoal to go in there so we can start uh getting this cleaned out but look at that yeah it's moving it won't take long look at look at how the water is already starting to clear up it's already starting to clear up yeah, it does not take long at all. See, it's starting to clear up. Won't be long, you'll be able to see the volcanic rock. Yeah, and this shit will be crystal clear again. Yep. Oh, make sure you hit the like, share this with some friends. But hit that like button and subscribe. Little bell notification to make sure you get every single video because we're about to make biochar and we're about to cook a delicious meal doing it. And uh, you're gonna have to subscribe to make sure you get that video as well. So until next time, I just wanna say peace out and have a great time. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned how to change this filter out. The only last thing to do is to just fill the basket back up with the charcoal. And you can look back at the other pond videos. It's all in a playlist and see how all this came together and was made. So, and the only way you're gonna do that is again, if you subscribe, so do that. Do it now. Peace out, see you next time.